So this picture is going viral of LA Mayor Eric Garcetti once again apparently at the game without his mask. This one's extra funny because when he got caught maskless taking a picture with Magic Johnson, as you remember, <gasps> he was just holding his breath. And I, when people ask for a photograph, I hold my breath and I put it here and people could see that. There's a 0% chance of infection from that. Is that what he's doing here too? Here's some of my favorite tweets. Eric Matheny said, apparently COVID can't touch you if you drop five grand on Super Bowl tickets, but tomorrow morning, school children, for whom COVID is nearly 100% survivable, will wear masks for eight hours, science. Ashley St. Clair said, California kids should just have class in the Ram Stadium so they don't have to wear a mask. Hilarious. Also true. Permanent field trip to Ram Stadium. Oh wait, your kids aren't important enough. Sorry. They don't generate billions of dollars in Super Bowl advertisements. Oops. And last but not least, Clay Travis. Over 100 million people just watched a totally normal Super Bowl in a packed indoor LA stadium of 75,000 fans with almost no one in a mask. How does any parent in this country send their kids to school in a mask tomorrow? It's child abuse. Keep in mind, Los Angeles. Angeles kept their mask mandate in place despite hosting the Super Bowl, despite California Democrats voting for a state of emergency. Ooh. If you wanted to trust our health experts any less, here's a video of LA Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer. John W. Davis here with LA County Public Health Director. Dr. Barbara Ferrer. Hey, we're at the Rams game in the Super Bowl. What do you think about all this? I'm super excited. She looks really healthy. If her job was scaring the crap out of people at a Halloween store, then sure, inspiring health in someone like myself? Yeah, no. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Makes about as much sense as Doug Ford closing gyms and then crying about truckers impeding people's rights to doing things. Speaking of Canada, CBC News, also known as Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, went with this scary tweet. The word has become common among far-right groups, experts say. What word are they talking about? Well, you know, freedom. Why the word freedom is such a useful rallying cry for protesters. That scary word freedom being used by crazies. Wait, who funds the CBC again? Again? Oh yeah, the Canadian government funded them $1.4 billion in government funding last year. Since the government of Canada doesn't like freedom, and they become psycho authoritarians. Why not have a media source call freedom a fringe right wing thing? Isn't that what Trudeau does? Plays dress up all the time and cries about any decent person in his country using terms like racist, sexist, xenophobic, whatever, whatever. He started to read what he, he said. This is a couple of weeks ago. He was, or maybe this is September, but he was talking about people who are not vaccinated. He said they don't believe in science. They're often misogynistic, often racist. No, they're Ooh, not. That was not that, smart of him at all. Right. He said, but they take up space. Mm. And well. with that, we have to make a choice in terms of a leader as a country. Do we tolerate these people? It's like, tolerate these? Now you do that's, sound like no, him. Mm -hmm. that, that uh, and recently he talked about them holding, holding unacceptable views. Wow. This, I'm yeah. surprised to hear that Trudeau said those things. You didn't see the blackface? I mean, he... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my quick clip. Please feel free to share this. Wake up one of your friends. I'm not trying to be rude, but at this point, it's been almost two years into 15 days to slow the spread. And the fact that California is still declaring a state of emergency so they could keep dictator-like power and LA keeps its mask mandate in place despite also hosting the Super Bowl, it's just disgraceful. Even Eminem had his mask off at the Super Bowl. Oh wait, that's Ellen DeGeneres. At this point, What's the difference? Well, that's my take. Feel free to follow me on Telegram at t.me slash dreamrarechat. Pick up a hat, a shirt, a long sleeve, or a sweatshirt at dreamrare.com. Feel free to check out patreon.com slash rare talk. I'll be switching that up soon. And my free email list, stayintouchwithme.com. Barely use it, don't like to be annoying, but it's great to have your email, stayintouchwithme.com. Have a beautiful day, share this clip if you like it, and I'll be back with more videos soon.